Hey, happy Sunday. I uh, hope everybody is blessed and enjoying the extra hour that they received. I was uh, listening to a program before I come to my event that I'm doing, um, and it talked about being thankful. And they said that only in November we're supposed to be thankful. And I understand that because it's Thanksgiving, but... Oh, I can't stand this lighting. Okay, here we go. Natural light. That, that, that's God's light. I shouldn't say that. But, um, wait, closer? No, ooh, no. Um, I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't do that while I'm doing a feed. But I believe you're supposed to be thankful every day. I believe you should be thankful for waking up. I believe you should be thankful that your children are still alive. Um... I believe you should be thankful that you ain't got flat tires and you can get where you got to go. I think you should be thankful for the gas you got in your car and hopefully your your car is running. Uh, I think you should be thankful that you have nosy neighbors. Yes, I said that. I think you should be happy that you have nosy neighbors and this is why I, I, I'm thankful for that. I have a nosy neighbor who he comes out on his porch when the school buses are showing up and he sits on his porch and he smokes his cigarette and he watches the kids get on the bus. And he has his last cigarette before he goes to bed and he sits on the porch. Well, guess what? He noticed somebody behind the dumpsters and that person was sleeping. And it turned out that that person had a record for uh, touching other particular people because I don't want to offend nobody. So he called the police. So, yes, I'm thankful because where I live, we send our children to take the garbage out because we have a dumpster at the end of our, you know, at the end of the neighborhood. And the way the buildings are situated, you can watch your child go to the dumpster, but they have to turn the corner where the dumpsters are at to do the recycling. So if you're sending your child with the recycling where this particular person was sleeping, you would know what happened to your child. So yes, I'm thankful for nosy neighbors because of him watching the children get on the bus. He's not touching anybody and everybody knows him. He waves at everybody as they go out and in, in their cars. He's a beautiful person. He's not that kind of a nosy person, but there's somebody looking out for your child. There's somebody looking out for you. That could have been you. So yes, I'm thankful for nosy neighbors and there were so many shows. Look at Good Times, where Walona was a nosy neighbor. Uh, look at Living Single, you had the sister. Thank God. I'm thankful for nosy neighbors. So what I want you to do in this feed, let's keep the thankfulness going. You don't have to say I'm thankful for nosy neighbors. That's just an example. Um, I want this feed to run where we can start saying what we're thankful for. Because we're, we're stuck in that pandemic mode where all we're doing is complaining. Let's stop it. Let's build up the pleasures that we had pre-pandemic. Because those pleasures are still here. It's just harder for us to find it, work it, do it. So we got to make ourselves do it. So that's my goal. You don't have to. You can like this, subscribe to it, and keep it moving. Or you can let everybody know what you're thankful for. And they can like what you're thankful for. So I'm asking for no nasty comments. This is what you are thankful for. What are you thankful for? Just because it's the month of November doesn't mean two months from now when you see this feed, you can't put what you're thankful for. Let's do this. Let's start turning the world into a positive place. Right here, right now. This is Love Notes with Melanie. Have a blessed Sunday.